welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are customizing some more baby bodysuits and this is for a baby shower gift today we will be using the heat press in the previous video i used the cricut easy press mini so yes go and check out that video if you haven't seen it as yet it is a very interesting video where i show you how you can use the easy press mini to personalize your clothing however now i'm going to use the heat press because with the heat press i can go much faster um, with it because it's much bigger So right here I'm showing you exactly what I did before I start heat pressing the vinyl on the garment. So first I always lint roll the garment before adding the vinyl. I tried my best to ensure that everything is straight because it is a baby bodysuit. I don't have to use a ruler or that um, t-shirt ruler to find the center. I find it very easy because it's very small. That's why I love working with baby clothing or toddler clothing it's because it's easy to be centered. So that's what I will be doing for the rest of the clothing. Just relax, enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified whenever I post a video. For these projects, I set the heat press machine at 305 and I press it for 13 seconds. But I think in the future, I'll try and increase it to about 320 and press it for 15 seconds. Comment below your favorite design. I love that gray one and this one that says stealing heart since 2021. Um, you can customize this one. So if it's 2022, 2023 and so forth. So yeah, I really love them. Let me know which one you love. So now it's time to package these bodysuit. My favorite part is the packaging process. I like to lint, roll and inspect the garment before I package them. In this packaging, I'm using a bubble wrap and I'm also going to use tissue paper.
this is just a simple way that I decided to package these orders I don't have any poly bags at the moment so that's why I'm wrapping them in tissue paper and the bubble wrap I found a way on how I'm going to make my own poly bags so watch out for that video um, yeah so that's how I will be packaging the other baby bodysuits but that will be in another video um, so yeah so I'm just packaging these two in this video and then the next video I'll show you how to make poly bags for your packaging you know DIY and all that so yes yeah, stay tuned for that subscribe to this channel turn on your post notifications so you can be notified whenever I post that video because we are going to do some DIYs <music> So I use a special delivery stamp and I stamp it on um, blank sticker paper. So this is how I made these stickers. I bought the stamp from Hobby Craft. So that's a craft store in the UK and I'm glad I bought it. I'm definitely going to keep this in my packaging process because it does add a little something, a little spice to the packaging process, to the packaging. So yeah, I'm definitely keeping this stamp. Um, as you can see, I'm using a lot of bubble wrap and I don't want to do that in the future. So in my next video, when I'm making the poly bags, when I'm DIYing the poly bags, that method would stop me from wasting so much bubble wrap. <music> So now I'm adding a thank you sticker to seal the package and then I'll add my thank you card and I'm just going to put that thank you card in this free drawstring bag that I custom labeled. So I did a video of me custom labeling these bags so check that out as well. And this is my packaging process for now. But in my next video, as I say, I'll be updating it. So watch out for that video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.